All right, guys, I have avoided this trailer all day, even though it was all over my Twitter feed. It was posted in my Discord, but I have not watched it. I have not watched it yet until this moment. As you guys know, or might maybe not know, uh, if you're new here, I don't really do a lot of reaction content. It's not really my thing, but sometimes when there's movies I'm really excited for or something that I am really, really hyped up for, it can be kind of fun to catch that first glimpse, that first reaction on camera, as opposed to just talking about it later. So this is going to be one of those special moments. Uh, I'm going to have to pause the trailer at times though, because of copyright. It's just one of those things. That's also why I'm a little bit over the screen um you know they'll get you man they'll get you for everything these days and youtube hates me youtube despises me with a passion and uh so we're just going to try to avoid that to the best of our ability it is only a minute and a half uh but trust me that seems short but uh ladies a lot can get done in a minute and a half uh all right so let's start the trailer pretty excited for this by the way in case anybody doesn't know this is godzilla minus one from toho the japanese studio this is not related to the monster verse godzilla versus kong that is going to be its own separate series this is the first uh traditionally made you know japanese godzilla movie since 2016 with shin godzilla and this is supposedly kind of starting things fresh um different continuity and potentially i mean maybe going into a whole new era a whole new franchise but uh we'll see man so i'm gonna watch a little bit of this like i said i will have to pause on occasion just for copyright uh, kind of stuff, but sorry, I started watching it and I realized no sound was being recorded. So I'm going to try again. Uh, all right. So I did watch like the first 30 seconds of this trailer already. So I guess this is not as authentic. Sorry. I had to redo this, but yeah, I was saying like, I, I like that it's subtitled so I can know what's going on. Also, Godzilla has his traditional hatred for trains. Uh, <laughs> And I was saying, yeah, written and directed by Takashi Yamazaki. I have not seen any of his movies. So if you guys know any movie of his that's like really, really good, go ahead and recommend it to me because I would be curious to check it out and kind of see what his style is. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention about this trailer so far that I saw. See, I think that looks like Shin Godzilla. Uh, is definitely the era that it takes place in. Uh, this is really cool. This shot right here. All right. This is about as far as I made it before I realized the sound wasn't working. But one thing that I like that this is doing is this is taking it back to kind of the primal origins of Godzilla, basically making the movie itself take place in post-World War II. So you can even tell by the clothing and the cars that this is not taking place in the present era. So I like that. Um, and it could give potential, you know, for a whole new, you know, kind of franchise or any kind of time skip that they want to do they they are open to that too they could do another movie in the 70s or they could jump right to present time they could do whatever they want to right uh i also like godzilla's feet here i know it's a stupid little comment to make but uh i like it better than the legendary you know pudgy feet you know godzilla stumps i like the legendary design but the feet the feet always bother me for some reason Just seeing that destruction. Yeah, post-war, Japan lost everything. So, yeah, this is happening, like, right after World War II. So, very ironic that the movie Oppenheimer came out <laughs> the same year. You could treat that as the Godzilla prequel. From zero to minus. I like the, the imagery of that, or the theme of that. Kind of like you're already at ground zero. Like, everything already sucks, and then it goes even worse. So, going into minus... That's a cool shot. What was that? I want to see what that is. Uh, uh, microfilm property of the United States government. Microfilm by so Naval District Washington. Okay, so probably like some footage of like the explosion. Damn. It looks intense. The uh, that was cool. The tone of, by the way, I'm sorry I keep pausing. I just, I'm trying to avoid copyright here. Uh, but the tone of this movie looks great. It looks very dark. It looks very serious. It looks like the actors are doing a really great job. Like there's a lot of emotion here, uh, which is reminiscent to the original, you know? Very cool. Monster will never forgive us. Oh, man. Minus the one. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. That looks very, like, burning Godzilla. But I think this is actually more... This looks like 
You know what I think this is? I think this is literally Godzilla being hit with the nuke. I, I think this is I think this is the origin right here. This image. It looks like because there's a lot of smoke around him. It looks like this might have been like the event that wakes up Godzilla. That's just my theory. Before seeing the movie, I don't know anything about the plot. This is going to be my theory. I think that that's what this is. Because look, it looks like he just like got the shit beat out of him. I don't think that's the design, uh, you know, with all the scarring and the red. I think that that's totally... Yeah, the result of the bomb in IMAX. Oh, man, dude. I will fucking see that in IMAX. Uh, I hope that this comes out in IMAX. I really, really do because I would love to go see it, uh, being able to see an authentic, I, I've never seen an authentic Japanese Toho Godzilla movie in the theater, you know, uh, when I was, uh, in my era, you know, they used to play some of like the old school Showa films, but then they only played, I think Godzilla 1985, which I was not alive yet. And then Godzilla 2000 played in theaters, but I didn't see it. I was a little kid, but I didn't get a chance to go see it. And then I believe they did play Shin Godzilla, but I also never got to see that in the theater. So very, very rarely do I have a chance to see uh, a Japanese, you know, Toho Godzilla movie in the theater. So I will absolutely take that opportunity if I can. And let me just reiterate how fucking cool it is, you know, um, that we have that we can potentially have two concurrent Godzilla series going on at the same time. Like that is just wild to me because. Like, there was such a huge gap in between Godzilla movies. Like, F Final Wars came out in 2004, and then we didn't have another Godzilla movie for an entire decade. And then we got Godzilla 2014, you know, and then we got Shin Godzilla, which is kind of its own thing. Uh, but can now, can you imagine if this comes out and this does really well and they want to make more movies? I don't know if this wants to be, like, a standalone, like, piece of art like Shin Godzilla is, because Shin Godzilla... Even though I know the ending, but I still feel like that movie is designed to be a one and done. Like that is a, a standalone movie that has a message. It has something to say and there's no more, right? Uh, with this, I don't know if that's attempting to go in the same direction or if this is like going to set up an entire series of movies to get. But if it does, it is just, it explodes my little like child brain of loving Godzilla that we could have a concurrent American Godzilla universe that's actually good, you know, and then a uh, a Japanese Godzilla universe happening at the same time. That is crazy. Uh, also, by the time this movie comes out, it's only going to be a couple months until Godzilla vs. Kong, you know, the new empire. So that's crazy, man. It's a great time to be a Godzilla fan. The only thing that sucks is that they're not using suits anymore. You know, I want to see some guys in big rubber monster suits beating the shit out of each other. Nothing will ever come close. And no matter how good a current Godzilla movie is, Nothing is as satisfying as watching two grown men in giant monster suits beating the shit out of each other. But I will take what I can get. So let me know what you guys think of this trailer down below. It's short. It's sweet. It's to the point. But I think it looks good. Uh, leave your thoughts. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Uh, help it out in the algorithm. If you want to support the channel on a deeper level, I do have channel memberships, Patreon, merch store. All linked down below as well as the social media links where you can follow me. Other than that, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you next time.